I do hope you're doing well. Excuse the flash appearance. It has been a hot day, my lovelies, and I have been trying to get these bags down because I had in excess of about four or five bags for the kitchen. And some of them I realised weren't necessities. Like I didn't need the Joey little fried egg chicken range. You didn't come here to see that, did you? So I've narrowed it down to one huge bag there and I've got a Tesco bag here. But the Tesco bag, that's just some of the glasses and some of the mugs. So I won't bore you too much with that. But this is the bad boy that is overflowing because I've tried to add in as many essentials as I can. As I say, some of these may not be essentials to you if you haven't seen the previous essentials for moving out on a budget, whether it be the vlog, which was getting everything out of the cupboard, oh my God, whether it's the bathroom, home decor, I don't know which order these are going up yet in my lovelies, but get comfy, get cosy. You know it's gonna be a long one, don't you? You just know it. And let's get in with our part two of the kitchen essentials. <laughs> Right, so I think I'm going to start with the big bag because that is just overflowing and I might as well just take it out because with this, there's not quite a lot that we can say about this. It's just a few glasses and a few mugs. The rest I've put away because there's just no room. I have now, this is like the final few that I'm filming now. So after it's all done, Dada is now having to use this spare room to house some of this because... When I've got it out, obviously, you saw there was a little bit of damp in the cupboard, which was great. It's all been treated now. We've got it under control. So I don't want to pack anything, like, tight, tight in there. So I think I'm going to use all my units still. Put the stuff that's in the boxes, like the plates and the pans and all of that jazz, and then just have a couple of bags in there. And then the rest are getting transported to Dardas. So let's not rabbit on anymore. The first thing, an absolute essential for the kitchen, my lovelies, tea towels now if you could see the amount of details i have i probably have about 20 tea towels i'm not gonna lie so these are five terry tea towels from george home the majority of my tea towels are actually from asda um i have a few from primark and a few from home bargains you know like the one-offs that are like the funky design but i've got quite a lot of like practical terry tea towels i think that's what they're called yeah asda so affordable i think this was three pound for five and this is my gray set best believe i've got a moldy colored set i've got a black and white set i've got a red and white set and i think i've got a mocha and white set even though i've not really got much brown in the kitchen there's a couple of like wooden things in there so i thought hey ho let's get some tea towels to match don't think you can ever go wrong with some tea towels my lovelies i hate going into my kitchen workplace and there being a manky tea towel i just use the blue roll so yes tea towels as i say i would show you the amount that i have but might be a little bit concerning to some people and of course like i still class this within kitchenware but it's actually tableware and that is placemats so i got these when did i get these a couple of christmases ago mama g oh they are tagged i thought they was hooked up then mama g saw these when we was out and she was like you know what i'll buy them for you because they're very you they are four silver tinsel frayed edge placemats now these were from next four for 10 pound and then if you remember in my home bargain store a few months back i picked up a two pack two two packs of these pink pom-pom ones how cute are they and they also do them in mustard but on my last few occasions i haven't seen them so they were 250 for two so it was five for four or were they five for two I'll try and look back on the haul and I'll link the haul down below. But I think they were still very reasonable price. I think it was two fifty for two and five for four because I don't think I would have spent a tenner on them. I mean, they are cute, but I don't know if my budget would go that far cute. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These are adorable. So, again, this was a gift from Mama G. When we're out and about, if I see something I like and she's there, she'll be like, go on, I'll get you that. So, I can look at these and think Mama G got me these. These were from either... HomeSense or TK Maxx, one of them. It's by the brand Cook Smart England, and it's a set of two oven mitts, and they were three ninety nine. But they're the mitts, so it's like look, almost like a little puppy. I just love them. I love the tropical vibe. I feel perfect for summer. They've got hooks on, so I can hook them up. And yes, so I do believe somewhere there is a matching tea towel to match this, but I haven't put it in an essential because. You probably don't think it's an essential. But yes, I love to have a matching 
tea towel with an oven glove or like maybe a little apron i do want quite a few aprons in my kitchen i'm going to be that person that wears an apron in my kitchen i think oopsie <laughs> and then the last bit of placemats my lovelies i picked these up from dunhill and i think they're about seven or eight pound and it's four coasters and four placemats in marble i have opened them because i wanted to see whether they were a shiny or a rough topping. But yes, I can confirm they are a nice shiny topping and cannot wait. So I've got a nice two couple of material ones. Oh my goodness. And then some like hard standard ones. Right, the only thing, would you believe it, that I have duplicates of, and they're not even like exact duplicates, is gravy jugs. But you know what, I'm not complaining because I think I'm going to use one as a custard jug. So these are my two jugs. <laughs> pardon the pun so as you can see i think this one is more like a custard jug i'm gonna have and this big boy is gonna be my gravy jug because we all know i love a bit of gravy love nice thick gravy and i like thick custard these i think i picked up from one of my local homeware stores but a place where you can get really good like porcelain kitchenware and tableware is matalan i will leave matalan's kitchen section down below because as i say they are so affordable matalan and they're really good quality i said to mama g the only thing with all this stuff is when i eventually move out everything's gonna have to be washed before it gets put away so thank goodness i have 101 sponges because let me tell you they're going to be put in full use before anything even goes in the cupboard that's going to be a task and a half isn't it my lovelies right oh can i get that out so pick this up and it was from wilkinson's i think it was about three or four quid and it is a cutlery caddy but I don't know if I'm going to have it as a cutlery caddy or a utensil caddy just yet. I haven't found a utensil set that I like enough because I don't know if I want to just buy some loose ones and put it in a unit like this. Or you know when you get them and they're on like a hook and you can spin it and they're all on there. I'm not too sure which avenue I want to go down. But yeah, these are great. And you know what? These are really good. I've seen people have these in their bathroom. If you're a large family, to put your toothbrushes, your little mouthwash, your toothpaste and... I don't know, some random little bits in there. So I think a cutlery caddy, do not mistake for just a cutlery caddy. You can be so versatile with it. And that's what I've tried to get with like my bits and bobs. I've tried to get stuff that I can be versatile with, you know. And if I think, oh, I'm not going to quite use it for that, I still have another purpose for it. But this thing can only get used for one and only thing. Oh, my goodness. Colinda, pick this up from Ikea. I can hear the bag moving and I'm thinking, please don't drop. What are you doing? What are you doing? You just want to rest there. Just rest there. Thank you. Got this from Ikea. I think it's under a pound. Just a little colander. But I do want to go, once I eventually do move, to Procook, which you get at all the outlet centres. I will leave their website link down below as well because Procook stuff is just great. It's basically a big outlet, Robert Dyer's kitchenware, everything you can get there like proper proper nice knife blocks chopping boards colander sets everything i want a three set of the metal colanders like a baby medium and large this one i don't really know why i got it i think i just got it because i haven't got a colander and i mean it's all right for the minute make do but i do want a nice little set of three stainless steel ones so yes multi-purpose i could use it as a little hat after definitely need to wash that after it's been on my barney don't i right 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 now i do get carried away with like little ramekins i'm not gonna lie so i have quite a selection and there's a hell of a lot more out there so i picked these up these are four butter pads butter pads i don't think i can get them out these were from one of my little local homeware stores they were 3.99 for four can i get you out oh yeah that's fine so apparently these are for butter i didn't read that when i picked them up but i just thought that they was really nice like little dipping bowls like if i'm doing some sushi and i've got a bit of soy sauce anything like that that is another thing you're gonna so laugh at me i have a big japanese collection like i got them from sainsbury's a couple of years ago like they was one of the first things that i bought and they're like you know the little funky rice bowls and the little side plates and i've got loads and loads of chopsticks because i absolutely love japanese food so i thought you know what i want like another little kind of dinnerware set not that i need it because i've got three dinnerware sets but 
these are just like little feature pieces so like a couple of little rice bowls a couple of side plates to put me sushi on and plenty of chopsticks for everyone and then these are from matlan as i say please do look at matlan again in the white porcelain range down to a quid and i just thought they were great little ramekins for whatever you want you could put a side in it you could do a little creme brulee in it you could do a little muffin in it whatever you want there is a lot of stuff in here right we need to get through this sharpish because otherwise you're going to be here forever george home asda once again a one litre measuring jug i think this was two pounds or three pound because it is the glass one so as i say it's a one litre glass jug very simple but because you would have seen in the last video i've got plenty of plastic i just wanted a really nice glass one in case i was ever doing anything where i needed the mixture to be cold so possibly that could be one of my baking bits and bobs i'm not entirely sure baking that's another area i've got to work on i want a really nice baking set i speak more about it in the last one but you know me my lovelies oh here's my other little where was this from b m a premium utensil holder so as i say so i've got the square one and i have a circular one what i'm going to use this for i might decide i want to put my cutlery in this who knows but yes love that b m is fantastic home bargains all the bargain shops my lovelies next as the few bits from tesco matalan matalan is probably the underdog i would say i don't think many people would look in matalan for specific homeware but i love going matalan when i go there it's the highlight of i would say the highlight of my week but i don't go there weekly whenever i do go it's like a nice occasion you know right don't shout at me because this is where i got a little carried away clearly cutlery now you can never have too much cutlery because i don't know about you but in our house it's just me and mama g cutlery goes missing all the time don't know where it goes especially the little spoons oh my god the little spoons just go everywhere so i have quite a few i have five sets of cutlery so i've got three that match my dinnerware and then i've got two cheaper ones like for everyday use or like tea bags all of that stuff so i picked these up from pan stretcher they are 199 and it's just a 16 piece cutlery set in grey very similar to what i've picked up for me and mama g actually but i paid four pounds in b&m double pan stretcher but yeah so i've got that and then i don't know why i've got this color because i don't really have much brand but as i say i might have just picked it up because of the wooden bits this was four pounds in b m and it's a 16 piece but i've got it in like a talk like a talpy cream in a way so i think they're just going to be the ones like i don't know say if we have people around and it's not like a proper meal you know like for a lunch time or something that probably sounds so extra like i have a lunch time cutlery set and a dinner time cutlery set <laughs> who do i think i am i don't know i just get carried away like two quid and four quid. I'm so gutted. Clearly, I didn't get the two quid before the four quid because I wouldn't have spent the four quid on the two quid. You know what I'm saying, my lovelies? But these ones, okay, I did spend a little bit. Not a lot. Oh, my goodness, everything's dropping. Oh, that's fine. So, you will remember my Sabichi, Sabichi, Sabichi marble dinnerware set um i picked that up from tesco when it was on special with club card offers because that was expensive that was 50 pounds and i think i paid 25 pounds it was half price the cutlery set was i think 30 down to 15 so of course if i've got the plate set i've got to have this so i love this because it's very unusual if you look at the way the marbling's on it it's almost like a 3d etched it's not like sunken in it's like raised which i really like so as we all know the marble set is like my proper proper set you know i'm slowly losing room already and we're not even halfway through the bag and then i got the set which was white with the black line from matalan for seven pound or ten pound one of them so i thought this could go it so i got the matching sabichi set to that even though the dinnerware wasn't sabichi it went with it and i got this from dunhill and how much were you I think this was about 10 or 12 pound but as i say it was a really nice sturdy one it's got nice thick black handles so like very nice and can go with the other one and then i think this was about 12 pound i got a poppy set from dunhill to match my plates so this is what i mean if you get something from one store so i got my dinnerware sets from matalan and tesco's but i got my cutlery from tesco and dunhill i always think if you see something you like just go online and have a look because it may be that the store you're getting it from might not do cutlery and then it might put you off getting the dinnerware set 
but then you can get it online. Mum keeps going on to me. She's like, next time you go to Dunelm, you need to get the black mugs and the poppy mugs. Mama G, what are you trying to do to me here? Like, here's me trying to be somewhat responsible. And she's like, mugs, mugs. Even though I've got a huge bag in here full of mugs. But I do get her vibe. Like, I do want, like, a nice matching set. So I might pick them up from Dunhill. Who knows, my lovelies. And then this. Oh, this was from Asda as well. I think this was about four quid. It's called a salt and pepper set. But it's, you know, the ones with the oils in as well. So I just love this because I thought, you know what? Oh, let's flip that over. Don't want that. I thought I could have the salt and pepper, obviously. Then I could put some nice garlic flavoured oil and some balsamic vinegar. So like if we was having like bread and oils or anything, I can just pop this out. Put in me little ramekin. See, look, it's all coming to pan. You ain't got to use a butter pan just for butter. You can use it for breads and oils and dips. Absolutely love it. So they can go there. I do get very worried about porcelain and glass next to each other. Like trying to lift this mug and glass bag in, I was having severe anxiety because it's, it's just a lot, my lovelies. I mean, like, yeah, I don't. And it's tipping. Oh my god, you can just stay there because I'm, I'm literally going to have a panic attack if I can't get anymore. Right. Oh, what's this last thing? No? Oh, last set of glasses. You would have seen these in the Ikea haul. Absolutely loved them. Not going on to glasses yet, but I'll show you while they're here. Just like little, um, what are they like? Whiskey tumblers? I'm not quite sure. But I like the print. And I think they could possibly go with the outdoor living section as well because they've got leaves on them. So, you know what I'm saying about like multi-versatile? Right. All of this now is like chopping boards, trivets, meal planners, serving boards, all the good stuff. So, first thing is first from Procook. I did pick this up when we was last down there. This was 11 99 and it's just a set of digital glass scales. So I absolutely love it and I loved it because it's got all like the old fashioned measurements. So like fluid ounces to milliliters, temperature, weights, just like it's practical and useful all wrapped in one. And as I say, yes, I absolutely love Procook. I will definitely leave their website down below for you my lovelies and i think i got this from pro cook as well because this ain't from a bargain shop no this was five pound where did i get this i actually got it at a garden center oh my god i must have got this the same time i got the meal planner so one of my local garden centers last summer we went down to and i said i don't have much wood in my kitchen or i don't want much wood but i just really like this it's got all the kitchen conversions so look at that, you've got liquid, temperatures, everything on there. And I just thought it was like a really nice piece, a nice little paddle. And it can hang up and be useful to anyone who's cooking. May that be me or Brandon if he's cooking. Who knows? Right. This is where it gets fun. So we've got chopping boards galore, my lovelies. Actually, let's just get all the chopping boards out, shall we? And let's do a top up, a chopping board top up, shall we? One, two, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen chopping boards already. It's not too bad. I do want a nice big chunky set of wooden chopping boards. That is on my list. But first things first, I picked these up from online pan store. Again, I absolutely love that. And I've picked quite a few up from there. These would have been £2, I believe, from there. Just a big and a little marble one. These are the plastic style. Where can I put you? We're just going to chuck you on the cushions at this rate. And then I picked this one up. Three little ones from Ikea. I think these were about two fifty. I have the thing with colour coded. I think it goes back to like my college chefing days to not cross contaminate. So as I say, I do want a nice big set of the wooden ones, but I want the big, I think it's Joseph Jones or Joseph Jonas. You know the one that have the little tags on the top and it have like a fish sign, a meat sign, a dairy sign and a veg sign. Like that is ideally what I want. And I think that's just drummed into me from culinary college and that like to not cross contaminate. So I've got Ikea's version. And then for 2 dollars I got a five pack from B&M. So we've got all of our colours there, which is fabulous. Oh God, yep, I've really just dented my pillar. And then we all know this. This is a classic one from b and I don't think I'm ever going to use this to chop on though. I think this is going to be one that maybe sits on the hob or it's just a nice little decorative piece because I don't think I want to use that. 
this one i might use this one this was three pound again from b m and it's just a heart shaped little bamboo chopping board i might use this as like a serving platter actually this could be a serving plate because i just think it's too cute to chop on i mean what could i chop on that maybe some strawberries if we had strawberries and chocolate one night i think it's going to be more decorative my lovelies and then these two are also from online pan store le bistro thought that was very funky and the fresh beef fresh beef so yes two of them and then i also got another one from pan shop so if you've got beef you've got to have chicken and this is 100 percent chicken so these in essence could be color coded for me in a way of if i was doing beef or chicken you know what i'm trying to trying to think ahead there my lovelies and then right this is very heavy and i was very worried about putting this in who remembers from my next haul the marble trivia you know what this is so cold this is exactly what i need i need to calm myself down it's been a very busy day i've had a long day at work and i just need to cool down that is absolutely lovely proper marble this was eight pound my lovelies and again, I think even if I don't put any pans on it, it's just going to look nice sitting on the sideboard, sideboard, kitchen worktop. You know what I mean? So, yes. And that matches oh, that matches my uh, placemat and coasters. Always thinking for a theme. You know me, my lovelies. And then, right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these out, but kind of went on a bit of an obsession. They are really cold on my legs. Oh, my goodness. Glass worktop protectors i got these actually from argus and i think they was four or five pound down in the sale but like they're big and they're heavy so the first one i've got obviously baked with love this is a tempered glass worktop saver they call this i've definitely lost room now help mayday mayday let's just pop you there right so there's two in wrappings that i'm not going to get at but I've got this one. Oh, this was my one from Next. Again, I love all the stuff with the measurements on. So this was £10. So as I say, double the price of the Argus one. But I like this. And then I'm not too sure. I think these two are from Argos as well. Yeah. But I don't... <coughs> I don't want to unbox them because they are all wrapped up. But yes, another two worktop savers. You know what? Can never be too careful, my lovelies. And then B and M is great for serving platters. This was two ninety nine, and it is a slate serving platter. I love anything like this because you know what? It's not just for serving. Well, it is for serving, but you know them days if you just want like breads, oil, snacky bits, tapasy bits, and you don't want to put it on on a plate, just bung it on there. Get a little side plate, or even don't bother with a plate. Just put that on the table. Put it on your lap, even. And just nibble at it together. Sometimes I just can't be bothered with the washing up. So that's perfect. Oh, we've got another chopping board, my lovelies. This was £3. B&M, once again, marble collection. How gorgeous is that? So I've got marble placemats, marble trivia, and a nice marble chopping board. Can't chop anything on that that's going to stain it. I don't want to stain that. But let me stop rabbiting. Let's go and take a breather and then we will finish off this bag and get on with the mugs and glasses, all right? God, this is going to be a long one. <laughs> right, you're feeling refreshed? We're almost there. We're on the home straight, my lovelies. So, next thing is trivets. You will have seen these in the next tour. I've got a set of two for £10, these hexagonal ones. And then I've got this guy, which was a rectangular one for £8. As I say, next, very, very good for homeware. But, you know what, I think Next and George are probably on par. You know like where sometimes you see something in one shot and then you see something in a cheaper shop? So I would think that Asda is the dupe for some Next bits on some of the items. So yeah, always have a double check and have a look. Another little paddle thing to hang up, my lovelies. This was $4.99 from B&M. It's the wooden chop and serve board. It's your little pizza board or you could put a salad on there. You could do whatever you want with it, my lovelies absolutely love that and as i say i knew i just had to have it right now i really am losing space i'm losing space everywhere but the last thing in the bag let's bang that down is my weekly planner you would have seen this on the vlog i was gonna say moving out vlog well it is technically but i'm not moving out this is the meal planner that i got from my local garden center so as you all know me and mama g we meal plan quite a lot 
and I just thought this would be really nice. So instead of people coming in, I say people, it's going to be me and B probably, unless mum or anyone else comes around, it's just to know like what's for dinner tonight. And this was £10, which I think is really affordable because some weekly planners you can pay an absolute fortune for. The only thing I need is for B just to put a little hole in it or something that I can put my chalk on. Like maybe put a little hole in it and I can tie some rope through with a bit of string just so I can write it all on. Right. Oh god, I can't even. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Oh my goodness. So, glasses you would have seen in the last kitchen haul were like my wine glasses, my gin glasses, stuff like that. I still need to get pint glasses and I still need to get some form of like a brandy. You know like what people have brandy, the round ones and like Bailey's glasses and like whiskey tumblers, a nice little set of them. But I have got a bit of carried away with the everyday glasses. So at the moment I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six sets that I've got four of each. So six, twelve, twenty-four. So I've got twenty-four glasses. <laughs> how many people do i think i'm going to be having in my house at one time but and then i have a couple of my little guys so we'll start with these you would have seen these in the asda hall i got two little baby yoda ones so he is just one off here's my little baby guy it's only going to be me and mama g or me and b who will be using them because he's very dear to me now i picked these ones up from asda they are four high ball but rounded unicorn glasses now fun fact these normally were i think six or seven pounds for a set of four when i went to the asda home which was actually last christmas when we got our christmas tree they had them down for two pound two pound for a set of four they did have the matching gin glasses as well but by this point mum was like no you're not having gin glasses as well Shan. so i got four for two quid so that's what i mean Always have a look at Asda or George, whether it be online or if you've got a store down nearby you, whether it's in the supermarket or a standalone Asda home, have a look because they always seem to have a few little sales on and I do really, I do really rate that. Things to be perfectly honest, it might be an unpopular opinion, but hey ho. Now the rest of my glasses are all from Tesco. The majority of them were four for three. So I think they're normally 80 or 90p a glass. So it'd be £2.40 for four glasses. But I got a bit carried away with the styles. So, they're all the same style as well, pretty much. I've just got a couple of, like, thinner ones. So, our normal, like, highball ones. The first set have flamingos. Gotta love a flamingo. And then we have pandas. How cute are they? And you know what? Me and Mama do. this is, like, what we have for our house. There's always a breakage, I'll say, once a month. So, yes, there might be a lot, but they're not breaking the bank if we smash them. I mean, like, they're 80 or 90p each. Yes, I don't want to smash them because then I'm going to have odd numbers and then that is where I'm going to, like, start freaking out. But, yes, so we went with them. And then I got four each of these, but these are a highball, but they're a little bit slimmer. So I thought these might be nice for, say, like, a spirit and a drink or, like, a white wine spritzer, rosé spritzer. And that's strawberries with lemons and lime, which absolutely love. Very summery. I haven't, that's the thing as well. I haven't even got out my Christmas things because the top shelf in the kitchen is all full of my Christmas glasses and Christmas like mugs. Oh, God. We've got no room in this house. I think I need to build an extension just for my storage bits because the autumnal stuff's in the shed, the Christmas stuff's in the back room. Under mum's bed is the spring and Easter bits, bless her. And then that's even without me going home since and TK Maxx this year. And we're going to the Ideal Christmas Home Show this year. Fingers crossed it doesn't get cancelled because of COVID and we're still going. Oh, my God. I don't know what we're going to do. But, oh, well, it makes us happy. Hey, ho. And then I got four little jam jars which say beach all day, dance all night. Love these. Thought these were a bit unusual. Thought you could maybe have like a little bit of a, if you had a can or something, maybe like a little bit of a spirit, a cocktail you could do in there, a pims. That was just an unusual little style. So that was glasses covered. As I say, I had all my wine glasses and the gin glasses and everything like that. And the last one, cocktail glasses. Who remembers the pina colada? Give you like pina colada and get lost in the rain. 
Yes, I do like a pina colada. Bright mugs. My mugs were from Tesco as well. My main set. So I say my main set and then they are just random mugs. And I think I'm going to have that random mug drawer. But these are the ones that are going to be on display, like the nice ones. So they are by the company Fox and Ivy in Tesco's. And I believe they were roughly £6 each. But I got them when they had them on club card offer for two fifty. So I have got two grey coffee mugs. I just think they look really nice. And I think they'll go with any style that I go with in the kitchen. Just love it. Like simple and classic. So I got two of the grey ones, and then they also had them in white and silver. So I got two of those. I just thought they were absolutely very classy, very nice. And I say, they look expensive. Oh, God. They were £6 normal price, but I got them for two fifty. Perks from the club card, my lovelies. Like I said in the last one, if you haven't, just get down there and download the app and get club card. Because Tesco do a lot of stuff now where you can get offers if you have the club card. So just download it and save yourself some money. And then... And then they had the matching latte mugs with them. These again were 250. Look at how nice they are. <gasps> Can you imagine like a nice tall coffee and then in the winter a hot chocolate, in the autumn a pumpkin spice. What am I saying? Probably autumn and Christmas. These mugs ain't even going to come out because it's all going to be my Christmas and autumn themed. That's the only thing that Mama G said like she thinks Brandon might have a little bit of a meltdown with because my home is literally going to be changing all the time. So February, we're going to have like the Valentine's theme stuff. Then it's going to be Easter. And then it will kind of quieten down a bit. And then like it will just get decorated for birthdays and that. And then it will be from September, it's autumn. October is Halloween. November is Christmas. And it will probably stay Christmas through to January. And then I'll take it down and replace it with Love Heart stuff. I am one of these people. I do like leave my Christmas decorations up quite a while. Probably... I get that from Mama G because it takes so long to do them and it looks so nice when it's up. We want to like get the full potential out of it. So yes, my home's probably going to be decorated pretty much all year round and that means the changing of all the utensils, well, utensils, mugs, decorative bits, you know? And then of course I picked up the two matching white and silver ones. So I do think I had a little good result with them. As I say, still quite pricey for a set but a lot better than paying six quid for them. And then... <laughs> I can't, I can't even get them out. There's that much. Let me just try and like bring you down to show you. You see that? Yeah, there's probably like about another 20, 25 mugs in there. And they're literally all random mugs. Mugs that I've got from B&M, Asda, Tesco's. Just random. Random, random, random. So, I think that is part two done, my lovelies. <laughs> so... As I say, I could have done about three or four episodes just for the kitchen alone, but I thought I'd rein it in a bit. I thought I'd de... I was going to say decompress, but, like, try and get just the necessities that I feel. So, like, mugs, glasses, colanders, placemats, a few little dishes, chopping boards, quite a lot of chopping boards. But, best believe, once I do move, and this is the thing, it could be a year, it could be 18 months, it could be two years, it could be I never move out, no. Mama G would like it if I never moved out, but I've got to spread my wings sometime and start, like, adult life, you know? Not quite ready for adulting just yet. Like, give us the rest of this year at least to just be a little bit reckless, let's just say. And, yeah, I could have gone on for ages and ages, but when I do eventually move, when everything's going in, you will get a full grand tour. So I think I'm going to separate the bits that I haven't shown. Well, it's not even that I ain't going to remember what I've shown you, am I, two years from now or whatever. So you'll see it all going in. And then once we are in, I'm sure you'll see everything else. We'll do a nice, oh, my God. Imagine my home tour when I get it. Oh, my God. Like, I love watching. Who remembers my old uh, room tours that I used to do? I think I'd done one last autumn. Then I'd done my Christmas room tour. And I think I've done an updated room tour 2021. I just love watching types of videos like that because it's real and you get to see it and I think oh I like that oh I like that so yes I would love to do one for like every season like my Easter room tour and my spring room tour but autumn winter and then just a general all year round one once I've decluttered all the Christmas bits and then it's back to normal so we've had a few tweaks throughout the I was gonna say autumnal months no I was gonna say coming into August months oh my god I've got autumn and winter on the brain but Shannon Lee stop rambling as always if you did enjoy the video my lovelies you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below let me know if you've watched all of the moving series or if there's a few that you've missed out did you see kitchen part one 
what do you think of part two what do you think are essentials please do let me know down below as i say this is all new to me i'm literally just guessing off stuff that we use in our home and what i think i'm going to need moving down the line did i need 24 glasses probably not but hey ho it's all a learning curve eh let me know what your favorite bit was whether it was like the cutlery the placemats my little ow i thought i'd broken nail there could this day get any worse what was it my little butter dishes or maybe the milk canner i do really like my meal planner you know that is a good little buy off me i think but yes as i say i need to now go <laughs> and try and put these away and not smash anything that's going to be the bigger task i think but yes as i say stay safe take care as always and i shall see you all in the next one guys bye